Welcome to another episode of Behind the Lyrics. I'm Brianna here with Colin. What's going on? He's a Xavier Wright. So we're going to start off <laughs> asking yeah. you questions. What's your classification? Oh, uh, well, I'm a graduating senior. Graduating yeah, And absolutely. being a senior, which is the goal we are all trying to Facts. get to, Facts. how has Xavier helped you? Uh, it's definitely prepared me. Uh, been through a lot of ups and downs, uh, learned a lot of lessons, met a lot of valuable people, and uh, stayed stayed I guess true to myself and uh look to God for everything and you know that just uh, kind of led me on the right path okay and what do you plan on doing after graduation oh uh, well I'm looking at grad school I'm actually uh I plan on moving to Houston going either to the University of Houston or uh being a teacher assistant at a couple of schools that I've been in contact with out there so kind of excited looking forward to that but then also still doing the music thing on the side too Okay, speaking of music, of course. Uh, do you have a name you go by? What yeah, you, what is it? Go ahead. it's Max C, M-A-C, capital C, straight like yeah. that. Okay, so you're a New Orleans native. Yeah, born and raised, east side of New Orleans. <laughs> yeah. Who inspired you to start your rap career? Oh, really, I'm a big currency fan, honestly. Uh, uh, it's really a coincidence because uh, Street Customs is like uh, his shop out here. I'm not sure if anyone knows about that, but uh, I actually grew up across the street uh, from Street Customs. And when uh, when one of his albums dropped, I actually walked there uh, and picked it up myself when I pre-ordered it. So that kind of just like gave me the, the little spark that I needed and kind of influenced me to kind of pursue that and be serious about it. He recently had a concert like a week ago. Yeah, so yeah, did you yeah. Go? Nah, no, I was there. I work a lot too, though. So <laughs> okay. yeah, I, unfortunately, I missed out, man. Shout out Spitter, though, man. Like, but he comes to my job a lot too. I work at uh, I work at Whole Foods too, though. So nice. him and uh, him and his girl uh, come through all the time. They, you okay. know, show love. Shout out again, Spitter, man. Jet life. Yeah. Okay, so what what made you start? Like, what was that moment you were like, I need to probably take this seriously and go to a studio and write some lyrics down really for me it really was the emotion and the passion and the consistency that I was finding in myself and that I was hearing from a lot of people that I would talk to because you know how it normally is you just playing around freestyling and stuff but then when I would be spitting and freestyling and stuff people would say man you should really try to get some of that down and like like some of the stuff you're saying is like it's not really like trash you know so it's like mommy you kind of got some, some substance behind it so I said all right I'll, I'll give it a chance so once I got in a session, uh, it was pretty much Murder, She Wrote it after that. Like, I just fell in love with it, just sitting there, tuning, tweaking, you know, just listening, really putting you into it. It's really something I take my time and uh, take my, my dedication, my pride in, too. So about how long have you been rapping? Really, like, freehanding, just freestyle, just everything, probably since middle school, writing, everything. But really getting in the studio and really having time to really focus and really turn it from just a recreation to really just a craft, really maybe like a year, a year and a half ago, I really was able to really sit down in a mic, in a booth with the headphones in and really lock in uh, and really try to get some, some stuff off, kind of. Okay, so we have artists like J. Cole who tell stories, and mm -hmm. then we have artists like Migos. So what are you trying to portray? Definitely in, in, my, in my music, I like to keep it real, definitely have some substance behind it, and it's really for, for my laid back, my chill folks, you know what I'm saying? Those who like to go out, you know, chill and enjoy the music, really. And really, I'm big on instrumentation, too. Uh, I was in a band in high school, too, so really instruments and uh, different sounds is really something that I'm, you know what I'm saying, kind of leaning into. Okay, so you were in a band. Is there an instrument that you still have yet to learn that you want to master? Uh, Probably would be the trumpet. Probably, like, I, def I definitely am a fan of the trumpet, but... uh. I learned how to play saxophone though, saxophone and clarinet, like alto, tenor, barry, E flat, B flat, clarinet, like I could run through all that. So, so that's you're so interesting. good with the music side. That's yeah, good. definitely, definitely. I serious ear, like I definitely have a good ear for music. That's great. So, if you had an opportunity to collaborate with any artist, current artist, maybe an older artist, anybody, who would it be? Hmm. I definitely like Big Crit. If I had to, I'd definitely do Big Crit, of course, Currency, uh, but definitely Big Crit, though. I feel like uh, 
he's underrated in a lot of aspects of the game, but when you really examine it, like his lyrics are there, his content is there, something, everything you look for in an MC, and it's like he makes his own beats too. So that almost really puts the, the sprinkle on it for me. Like so, I definitely, I definitely uh, a slide with Cray on that one. Okay, okay. So is there any social media, anything that your fans can reach you? Yeah, I mean, I'm on Instagram, man. I'm on Twitter, at OG Collins, straight like that. Just OG Collins, just like that. And uh, you get at me, yeah. <laughs> OG Collins. Straight like that. So you go to Xavier. Mm -hmm. You've been here all four years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, since I was a freshman, yeah. Since you were a freshman. Mm -hmm. And so how was it growing up in the city of New Orleans? Uh, it definitely was uh, a real eye-opening experience. I actually, I moved back to New Orleans two years after Katrina and I was there from um, 2007 up until I graduated high school. So seeing the change, I mean, it went from different neighborhoods and stuff not having power and me passing up certain buildings and hospitals. Like, man, like we still could use that stuff and seeing it not out up until now it's kind of like things are opening up and more people are coming and we're starting to get more attention on the city. So it's definitely good to see the the light shine on the city, and I'm glad to see that like progress is still being made. Like, it's definitely something that I, I look forward to always, always. Five or four forever. Like, yeah. Okay. Well, here's Colin. One more time, give them your um information so they One can look you up. One more time is at OG Colin Instagram, Twitter. I'm on Snapchat, Colin Andretti, straight like that. All right. This is yeah. another episode of Behind the Mute, the Lyrics. I'm Brianna Montgomery. This is Colin. And this is Max C. We out here. We'll see you next time. This is a homage beat. Begging my pardon. I'm so sorry, I've been leaving y'all starving Niggas don't want your two cents, but they gon' ask for dollars Crown on his head, blood on his conscience, ready for war In my city, lonely winters make for hot summers All they know is feed their family and just move the bundles He got beef with his boy because he ain't one front of him He say business is business, nigga, I still love ya But it's fuck him under mumbles as his stomach grumble Slab, jungle, concrete, these niggas are crumble For the cake, two four hours a day, I'm on the chase for paper pay Statements. Them crackers won't see me in stripes like I play for the Yankees But it's the same pace when a nigga lane changing Oh yeah, our conversation, man, let's get back to basics Back on the stove, back in my bag, making that crack for your soul I box the cool, don't let the smoke out the doors Respect the shooter, but respect his aim even more Fat lady been singing the song, the choir hit the notes I spit shit for those for whom I really rarely fold Pray for the best, expect the worst when I was in the dirt Leveled up, nah, nigga really know his worth Paying attention in my city costs a lot You end up paying with your life So I'm laying low in the night Setting traps up for all them rats And I'm praying the nigga bite And that's the talk Paying attention in my city costs a lot You end up paying with your life So I'm laying low in the night Setting traps up for all them rats And I'm praying the nigga bite Yeah, yeah Yeah.